biggest picture way to understand what I'm going to lay out here today is essentially we are going from a world that most people in this audience here for the last 40 years of your career has been defined by a certain set of systems, small systems that added up to a mega system. And that system, though, is essentially going to be increasingly we're going to let go of that system. So, for example, for the last 40 years, our mega challenge had been climate change. Energy had been carbon energy. Transportation was the internal combustion engine. Culture was a very boomer-centric culture, both in the United States and also Europe and all over. Politics tend to be more conservative. Uh, there was a, and because of that, economics was more private sector oriented. Capitalism was very stressing the shareholder. Work was physical. Uh, production was industrial. We'd refine that over the last couple hundred years. And geopolitics, because of that oil, was in the Middle East, and we had to go to wars and all kinds of stuff around that to basically keep the oil going, then boom, boom, boom. That's, that is a system we all get. That system, let's put on this side of the divide that I started the whole thing out, right? Now, there is another system that's getting built, a meta system that's essentially made up of all these smaller systems. I would argue the meta challenge of this era is basically going to be climate change. Energy is increasingly going to shift to clean. Transportation is going to go electric. We're going to go over a bunch of these things. The culture uh, basically is more millennial centric rather than boomer centric. Politics is going to be, in kind of a historical context, more progressive, they would call this. The public sector is going to play a bigger role in economics, probably. Capitalism is going to be more broadened to kind of benefit all stakeholders. There's a lot of talk about that. Work is going to be not totally virtual, but going to be increasingly virtual in ways that we hadn't thought about before. Production is going to be more biological. We're going to grow things or tweak things to grow rather than actually build them in the classic industrial way. And geopolitics, from the point of view of the West, will be more Asia-oriented. Now, that world is essentially going over to this side. So we've essentially got this next decade. There is going to be a huge amount of shifting. And if you're in the risk business, this is something you're going to have to really figure out how to navigate. And the more quicker you understand that this is kind of going in the bigger picture, the easier your day-to-day -day job is going to be. I would argue, again, hear me out.